My name is Helen Anyobejan. You can call me Helen K. And yes, I'll be doing this together with Desmond Ukreku Danso, the star boy that's fading. What's up? Yep, yep, yep. I'm good. I'm cool. Mm. I'm feeling all cool. You know, the, the weather is a little bit, you know, yeah. uh, cold and cozy. And so I'm just in that moment. But of course, at this time, we're here to serve our viewers with the sure. best of entertainment right here from now to four. PM, as always, we're on Facebook, so join us on Facebook at Metro TV Ghana and also on DSTV Channel 277. You can join us there. But today, it's all about uh, the grand finale and, you know, a general overview of BB Niger. And I'm sure Helen has got all of that coming up with our guests here on the show. So I'm, I'm excited, waiting for all that. I know the things we do, you know, at, at the backstage, all of those things, but... Yeah, you're ready for it. <laughs> we are ready for it, right? <laughs> Absolutely. It's three more days and then Big B Niger will be, um, a grand finale will be here and then it will be over. But then we are going for a short break. When we come back, straight into the discussion. Don't go anywhere. So we are delving straight into the discussion, and I would like to first of all introduce our guest to you now. On my left, we have um, Asabia Asumenin. She is a producer and also a presenter with Original Television. You're welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Right. And also we have Eunice Godom. Um, she is actually a presenter or actually a, a broadcast journalist with Metro yeah. Television. <laughs> You're welcome to the show. Thank you, Helen. All right. And I have here with me Sally Mann. She is an entertainment pundit and mm -hmm. also... An entertainment journalist. You're welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. You look beautiful. Thank you very much. You're looking beautiful <laughs> as well. <laughs> ah, Gidiba. I know, right? <laughs> Shella in the building. Anyway, mm -hmm. um, you know, on Saturday there was um, the party, and I don't know how you, you saw the party, um, if you really enjoyed it, you know, how everything went, their outfits and everything. Do you think it was a good party or something we can remember? Of course, I can remember one person, and that was Shex. Oh. Shex in his suit, <laughs> my God. London boy telling you, you can't beat that. I mean, right. it, it was a good party. You can't rattle him. No, 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 not at all. <laughs> and then it was one of the moments that I felt he enjoyed himself mm -hmm. because he had always been speaking of the fact that I'll live on the ninth Thank week. You. I'll live on the ninth week. I'll live on the ninth. Mm. So he knew it was coming. And he didn't want to be like a door boy, you know, because he was ready for the outside world. So it was a good party. They all looked nice. The person that whose outfit to me didn't look good on him is that Akokra Adinkule. Oh, really? Oh, of course. <laughs> Nothing that he wears fits him. Just oh, even, no, even <laughs> Hermes mm. and Groovy, yeah. they have some kind of personality more than, you know, he does. And the girls, uh, did you see Bella's outfit? Yeah. Uh, mm. I saw, yes. uh, even mm. Fina was not looking bad, mm. you know, the, the street Fina. It's not looking, was not looking bad at all. I mean, it was a good party, and the DJs also killed it. Absolutely. And I think it was the time for that, the Aseke kind of music. Yeah. Because that's when our brother was coming alive. You know, it was, it was for him. And I'm glad that he had that fun before he left. Wow, great to hear. But then, how did you see the party, Do You think it was a good one, one it we can remember? It was a good party. It was a good party. So, for one, at the point when they dance, they all come in the middle and go around and have somebody in the middle dance. And that was like super amazing. I feel like as the weeks has um, progressed, they've, they've come together. Because first it was rivalry, level one, level two. But with nice party was just like a bond. This is how far we've come, we've grown. I, I enjoyed every bit. I was dancing at home, actually. Oh, That's interesting. Mm. <laughs> I actually also enjoyed myself because yeah. on the day, as the, everything was showing, I was also on my feet, you know, at the point of I had to dance. Yes, you have to enjoy yourself, too. Party. <laughs> but um, how do you, how do you see well, the party? Well, that was the best party for me in this season. The best party. The DJs were on point. They are dressing. I mean, the vibes. I mean, I mean and, and the fact that they knew... They were the semi-finalists. I right. mean, nine weeks in the show. So they were all happy. They wanted to entertain themselves. And for my shares, I, I, I mean, I'm a shares FC also. For my shares, he knew, I mean, on the ninth week he was going. So that was his final party. He said it to the housemates. He said it to Bella. And it was like he dreamt about it that on the ninth week he'll be leaving. So... And, and I mean, all in all, it was a very good party. My best party throughout the season. 
Wonderful. Wonderful. But I don't know. It seems a lot of people um, keep saying that Sheikhs have a very strong spirit because mm-hmm. it's not the first time he's saying something. You know, on the day Queen Elizabeth that mm-hmm. she even said, he even said that, um, look, um, I, he said something about London and all that. Yeah. So, you know, people are like, his, and even the uh, market's issue before he was evicted, like he always have something to say. And then some, for some reason, it ended up coming to pass. It seems he has a very strong spirit. For him to even say that on the night we yeah. are leaving and then he... Just think that that's what makes him who is. I mean, we have different personalities and over, over the weeks he has built that and a lot of people, as a, Sally has always been saying that people are jealous of, you know, how he's able to ah. speak his mind course, and, you know, course, he knows what course, he is about and so <laughs> <laughs> he knows what he's about and so he says it and is confident about it. Right. People like that have something in what that is very special, a mm. certain thing mm. that appears to them right. and when they say it, it's sort of it's it's, it's true, intuitive. and so for yes, that intuitive, intuitive spirit, yeah, that thing. So I think that has been good. Uh, the party, listen, we all came for the money, mm-hmm. right. but one of the things that as humans we can never do away with is relationships, right. Right. building the right relationships. And so you've met a lot of people on the way. You were battling for the money, whichever way it's, it goes. Now it will just be one person who wins, who wins. But the sort of personality or the sort of thing that you've showed in the house would be beneficial to you after the show. Right. And that is what we are talking about. Absolutely. Sex may not win the money. Of course, he's out. Other people may not win the money, but we know that when they get out of the house, they will be doing well for themselves because everybody is watching. So, I mean, really, it's been, it's been a good one. And the, the way people... And, and, and yeah. one more thing. One more <laughs> right. thing. Yesterday, when shares and... Um, I said about the... No, I mean, Raquel. When they had their Rachel, misunderstanding, Rachel, 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 when they had their misunderstanding mm. he said... Uh, by December, Rachel will apologize, apologize to me. And yesterday, Rachel did. Oh, wow. Interesting. Yeah. So this guy is just Check something else. Yeah. But I'll be looking forward to more of that. <laughs> but now on Sunday, um, there was a eviction show. And I think shocker of the moment, you know, um, a lot of people, trust me, weren't expecting that Hermes would be evicted. Mm. When they said, Hermes, you are evicted from the show, I was shocked. I was like, how? How did this happen? Is it that, you know, because we realized that he has a lot of fans on social media. Mm. Is it that they were just supporting him on social media and then they didn't vote for him? Well, what was really the situation? Were you shocked that Hermes was? I was, I was super, mm. super shocked because mm. my 500,000 votes was mm. obviously going to go for him wow. if Shex was not in the game. So when I saw him leave, but I, I also feel like he left for a purpose. He left to save Shex. Okay. It was, it was I me, mean, I've come to understand. When he started speaking the truth, he said, I cannot sleep on the truth. I saw what this guy did in the house, did for, for the girl, so I will not keep quiet. And then it dawned on me that, no, maybe he left actually because of the guy. And um, Hermes, the second point again is that a lot of people that are not deserving has slipped into mm. the finale. Right. Mm. You know, uh, yesterday right. they were being asked and they said, you know, it changed the whole dynamic because mm. nobody was thinking that Chichi was going to win head of house. Yeah. Mm. You know, especially yes. we have sports people and people that are really, ex- the exercise and things like that. So this, me, this time, I feel it wasn't like the log, uh, the shine your eye t- time mm. where you saw real competitors okay. going to the finals. <laughs> this time, you know, Daniela, how can the finalists be uh, without a f- some fans? Mm. How can, right. you know, a finalist mm. like Chichi have fun not days. fans? Mm. You know, if me, that's why sometimes these games and all of that, I feel like they should be also strategic. Not as much as people vote or people do not vote and you know that they are weaker links. You should find a way to save the ones because imagine if Groovy, Hermes, uh, Shex, yes. Bella, Brian, Adenkule, all those people have been in the finale. Mm. It would be very yeah. competitive. It would yeah. have been so serious. Mm. But now, you know, they, they are actually not competitors. They are mm. just four people that mm. are competing. Mm. That's Brian Fina, uh, Adenkule, and what? Bella. Yeah. You know, yeah. so me, I feel it was a shocker. I wanted Hermes to... to my, my, my money was going for Hermes. Hermes. Okay, mm. so... Um, we have a, one of our, our very own. She's not here in the studio, but she joined us via Zoom. And I turn up watching. If she doesn't have a say before the show goes to an end, I'm sure she'll be she'll be sick wherever Maybe. she is. Nanaya, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Desmond. <laughs> How are you doing? Oh, I'm managing. I'm getting my voice back. Great. Yeah. So the voice is not back, by 
<laughs> anyway, so I want to have your, your opinion. It's been, it's been a couple of weeks. I mean, um, down the line, the final day is getting closer on Sunday. Your thoughts about the few things yeah. that happened this week? <laughs> I mean, I really, really um, agree with uh, Sally, but I disagree to the fact that Sally said was expecting Hermes to go to the final. Then who Brian will go home. Um, <laughs> they said the Big Brother started, mm. and this year we were anticipating so many things would take place, and it, it, it took a very big twist and turn. But then, finally, we are heading to day 72. A lot of things have happened. Um, when uh, Chiong Z got the head of house, I mean, two things. When Chi Chi, sorry, Chi Chi got the head of house, I was so glad that he, uh, she was able to get uh, Daniela at least to the finale. Because as uh, Sally said, um, someone who really doesn't have fans, someone who doesn't really um, qualifies to be in the finale. But then I feel that when Daniela joined and she has been proving herself, so to, in my books, she was actually a top five finalist. Now, um, so many things have happened. I am anticipating that per what Sally said, we were expecting that Big Brother at a point in time will be strategic when you are taking people to the finale because it's a brand. And sometimes a lot of things do happen. But over the years, we see that people that really don't expect are the people that make it into the final. What happened last year, we normally don't get a top six, but last year we had a top six. So I was expecting that this year we'll get the same thing. We've got to the same thing, but then it shouldn't be so. But uh, well, if Brian is in there, I'm okay with it. That's all that <laughs> matters. And I, so the finale is on, <laughs> the finale is on Sunday. Um, who are you going yeah. for to to win that? Of course, I've been making noise as Eunice knows that. Oh, I'm hoping Brian will win, and people disagree with me to the fact that Brian is a musician. So why should we allow a musician to win Big Brother this season? But bear in mind that over the years. Um, we've had musicians winning, like FL1, and um, people are saying we don't know what happened to his career. Someone like um, Lecon also won, and Lecon is an artist. People are saying, oh, why? All these people are supported. And then White Money mm -hmm. also won. These are all artists who yeah. won with the Big Brother stage. Now, people are saying that, oh, why should we allow an artist to win again? Um, when they win, nothing comes out of it. I try to say that we shouldn't give them an opportunity. Also, take advantage of the brand that is being presented to them. So for me, I'm going in for mm. Brian. But then this year has taken a very big twist and turn. People are hoping that Fina can be able to emerge the winner. Okay. Uh, according to the Big Brother, we have only one person. That's Messi Eke winning uh, Big Brother Pepe Dem. And I supported Messi. But this year, I'm not going for a lady. But from the streets, like she would say, who they? <laughs> the streets love her. Mm. And so this year, it, the, the stakes are high. But then I come to Bella. Bella is someone who really didn't think she would make it to the final. But then mm. she has made it in. And per what is being said on the streets, people are actually voting for her yeah. and so it wouldn't come as a surprise if brian doesn't win because the stakes are high for this year's bb niger the only person who will emerge the winner and it will shock me will probably be adinkule because mm -hmm. i don't know what adinkule is doing in the finale but bear in mind she is topping the charts when it comes to people who have won money in this year's bb niger level of okay so it <laughs> can really happen this sunday mm. okay but then, you know me i'm and I'm going in for Brian as my big brother, shine your eye winner. That's okay. all I will say. <laughs> I, 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 want, I want to say something. Okay. Uh, 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 Nana. Alima. Yeah, how are you, my darling? Mm. I didn't know that you were sick. Please, I'll well, call you. I'm sick. Boys, and you see, I'm speaking in a bass tone. I'm really <laughs> trying to get my... Uh-huh. Yeah. But you know, yeah, for, for, for this, because of you and your sickness, <laughs> and I'm going to support Brian because I don't want it to go to. No, yes, I don't want it to go to who day. What is who day? What about Bella? But Brian will not even win the, the competition. What about Bella? Oh, please, please. Oh, please, 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 please. please, please. I, have, I have never been a fan of Bella, and I'm yeah. not going to. She's always said it. No, 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 no. It's no, because no. of sex. Nana. 
Allow me. Why are you people at me? Allow me. Uh, Sally, you, you wrap it up. Exactly. I, I, don't, I, I will give it to uh, Brian. I will not give it to Bella because, mm. you know, Bella, when she wins, she will be too much for us to handle. Mm. We should be able to manage her. Mm. Yes. Okay, she's <laughs> saying that Bella will be too much I, I, I for us to handle. I definitely disagree with her. Okay. I, I mm. mean... Since we are in the same fraternity, no, our, no I our, said our, our, our husband. It will be mm. difficult for for okay. our brother. So you think our, our brother cannot handle her when she wins? You see, the kind of person that she is. Right. I'll reserve. No, no, my... use the word. No, know, I, I, the kind I, I, of rude person that okay. she okay. is. So, 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 so I disagree. So, so, so um, Nanaya, if uh, that's all, uh, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, take care of yourself, and uh, yeah. We'll see you yeah. we'll see you in the studio. All right. We'll so, you, we'll you, you know, going back to Eunice, you see, um, on Sunday there was the eviction. I was even talking about her mess, you know, being a shocker and all that. I think Groovy, for some reason, some were thinking that, well, maybe he didn't have a lot, um, a strong fan base, so he might not be, uh, he might be leaving the house. But then her mess, um, is, was it also a shocker for you? I was really shocked. For her mess to be out and at Jenkule to be in, I'm like, what happened? I was like, ah, maybe I'm watching the wrong channel. Like, no, <laughs> this cannot that. happen. Oh, because him is a strong him is it's the game the guy is smart the guy is very competent he's like he is the show like one of the shows one of the shows yes yeah. but you believe him is strong but then you are saying adekule isn't is that what you're saying adekule i don't know how he got into the why what's it, was <laughs> <laughs> exactly. it was a ganga it was a gang because i feel like <laughs> Because I don't even see his fans. I, only people say, oh, we like him, we like him. Yes. But then, then again, as she said, Hermes had the fans on Twitter, but it didn't translate into the yes. vote. So sometimes some people may be quiet, but they are working behind. Mm. But Hermes no, but was out really of strong. the three that went, he was the top, the, 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 the top one. Um, Hermes. Yeah, right. yeah, yes. Yeah. So you can't so, say he was exactly, so, voting. But I thought they could have pushed more. No, what I'm saying is that if there's a gang up on mm. a, a particular... Housemates. Right. You know, there's nothing that anybody can do. That's yeah. Because That's the true. Brian people and the Fina people saw that we have to know we can't let these two people be in the final. Mm. That's Bella and Shex. Mm. So once you go, that mm. was that was the plan. So mm. they actually voted for Aden Kule mm. just to pepper us. That's all. Yeah. That's oh, true. Okay. Yeah. So oh, but I knew Shex was not going to the finals. I don't know, but I he didn't want it. He was tired. Mm. It's good he's out. Yes, we yes. saw it. Because now he's free. His Shex that we saw in week one and two. Mm. Was getting to like week seven, eight, he was tired. He was sleeping a lot. And it made him very, I don't know, but fuzzy. And he used to like argue a lot. But now his shakes is out. Yesterday, his media rounds was like just killer, killer, killer. He was dancing. Right. Okay. He's been himself. Himself. And he has always said that he's an outdoor person. Yeah. Yes. And if somebody is an outdoor, outdoor person, mm. it's difficult for you to tame that person yeah. in a space yeah. like that, to, for, to that for, for 10 weeks. It yeah. will be very, very difficult for him. He even tried. Yeah. Okay, you even actually tried. agreed with him. Because, I mean, last week he said that if he doesn't go on Sunday, he cannot mentally contain wow. what will happen the following week. Mm. So... I mean, he was prepared to go. To go, okay. And for him, is, I think, as Sally said, it, it was, it was, yeah, I mean, divine. it's something divine. Because see what he's doing for Shez. Yep. He's That's the one see. defending. We thought Doyin would come out and do what Shez, uh, do, right. do what Hermes is doing. But he came back and he was influenced. The first part of his uh, media rounds, he was like, yes, I didn't see him abusing anybody in the house. Then the next moment, he came back to tell He's us after influenced. watching what video. You were the person in the house. Which video was you didn't, you didn't, you didn't see that happen. No, 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 we didn't see that. that. Didn't see that. Didn't see that. Didn't see that so it was ordained that uh, Hermes should come out with Shez so that he can defend him. And yesterday, I mean... And you see the groovy guy. Mm. He's so shady. Mm. He didn't have a choice at that time to defend him also. Because we are all in the house. Yes. And one is saying that I saw this yeah. and that and that. Right. Because he has always been a hypocrite. Mm. And me, I would wish that the friendship that they have will end. Will, will end. Yeah, no. that's true. Very interesting one there. But then, you know, on uh, Sunday, whilst they were doing the evasion, Ebuka spoke with Daniela and then made it clear that, you see, um, it's possible that, um, you know, you right now we know that, okay, you've been with Dotun, Khalid, mm. and now that's Adekule. Why. And she was asked, who are you really with? But then she's saying that, look, I am standing with myself. And at that point, I was just wondering, is it that this lady, when she step out of the house, she's going to do something else? Or, and in fact, after that question and everything, you realize that she's now been very careful in the house, though she's still good with um, Adekule and all that. But then she's been 
more careful. So that maybe nobody will say that, okay, you've kissed this one, you've kissed that one, and then um, you have kissed Adikule as well. What really exactly is Daniela's um, I think plan this is like? the, people always said that she was smart, and I said she wasn't. But this is the smartest that she's, she's been yeah. in the house. <laughs> yeah. Because, yeah. listen, you can't have three men having a go at you at the same time. Mm. You can't. You cannot have three men mm. doing the same, kissing, you know, cuddling you, mm. doing that. So I feel she knows and we've seen from the outside that Khaled is not even supporting her. Yeah. Mm. So to me, I know that she feels it. Now you can't and kiss somebody like Dotu and then the next minute you come and pretend like you have an amnesia. <laughs> you, you understand? So she is be, she's been so smart to the point that if when she comes out and it blows in her face, because mm -hmm. me, I'm waiting so patiently with my aggressive cuddling video. <laughs> just because I'm going to taunt her for taunting Shegu in that house. So she, 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 she's just being smart. Yeah. So that when she comes and everything is blowing in her face, mm -hmm. that you know, Kali is not minding her, mm -hmm. will be like, Oh, so I said it, I, I, I'm running this thing on my own. Mm -hmm. So, this is the smartest that she's she been. Is, yeah. And me, I feel she's always leading people on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's yeah. crazy. Yeah, if uh, uh this thing, if, if no, if uh, Ebuka had not called her out, mm -hmm. I'm sure it would have been a different level with Adin. Yeah. 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 because I'm sure in her mind, mm -hmm. she is in the house because of the things that she's doing mm -hmm. and that people like it. Mm -hmm. That's, true. That's in her mind. Mm -hmm. So me, I feel that was the smartest answer that could have come out. How old is she, 20 or 19? That's the smartest that she's been in that house. By not saying that, oh, I'm going to go for Khaled. What if Khaled, you come and Khaled is like, oh, no, you've been kissed a lot of times in that house. <laughs> and that I don't want you. So she's yeah. just playing smart. She's being smart and strategic. Mm -hmm. I mean, he, he doesn't want to mention one particular person. Mm -hmm. So that in her head, she knows Khaled and the fans will be rooting for her. Right. The two will be rooting for her. Not knowing they are outside, but they are not, even, I mean, even they are not even for campaigning for her. So she has to be strategic <laughs> knowing that all these men and their fans mm. will be voting for her. So, so it, I mean, it's smart. strategic, yeah. You also believe she's been smart with that one? Oh, yeah, she's been smart. And I feel like it's redeeming her image a little because <laughs> her image was in the mud. Because you you claim you like Khaled. Ebuka asked you, you said, oh, well, I'm into um, Khaled. Right. Mm. People say you're yeah, in a relationship. And he leaves after a week, Dotu comes into the house and... Oh, but Dotu is the one that she actually liked, though. Exactly, uh -huh. yes. Khaled was a mistake. Khaled I think because mistake. we're in different levels, yes. right? Yes, yeah. it was a, because yeah. it was Dotu. <laughs> Khaled was a mistake. No, 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 no. So you can come in. I'm coming in with a different mm. angle to, to right. this. Uh -huh. No, I just wanted to... Get back to the question about when the thing started, we were mm. talking about strategy, mm. that if strategies do play mm. a role in this, do you have to strategize, mm. know which week you're going to be around the place, mm. which week you're going to be, be the cool guy, cool girl. Has it worked for anybody in the house? Strategy. Uh, I think these people, unlike the shine your eye people, that came with a lot of strategies. These people, we are not seeing that. Mm. What I'm seeing is that they are playing by the rules mm. of the game. Anyhow that it comes, whatever is thrown at them in the house, mm. then yeah. they grab it. Okay. One person that I thought that had a strategy was the fake uh, Messi, okay? the, no, uh, 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 Chichi. Chichi <laughs> was... No, no. Fake Messi, okay? No, it's not that. Fake Messi, okay? I didn't want you who that was. <laughs> was <laughs> <laughs> Someone who says when she moves the money, she's going to... Paris. No, she's yeah. going to the club. The club she's a stripper, so she's yeah. going to spread you, it. You understand? So, <laughs> me, I felt she was the one that came in and was going to be like, I'm a bad girl, I'm this, bad you know, girl, stripper, yeah. I'm this. But it turned in her face. Mm -hmm. Like, it was like, it blew up in her face. Mm -hmm. And she needed to adjust. She has become calmer mm -hmm. to the point that now when people are even talking because of Deji, mm -hmm. I, I watched her, her diary session. Yes. She said that, yes. oh, Deji calms me so <laughs> much. And I, I think she can't I, wait to I, meet Deji. No, I have, I have really made him proud uh -huh. because he would tell me, it's everything that you have to respond to Chichi. So, I, I you understand? Mm -hmm. It's so crazy. <laughs> so, me, I feel there were not too much strategic people in this, you know, uh, 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 season, unlike before. Okay. There, I think there were right. none. Mm. No, yeah. too, there were none. Some came into the house thinking, I have my strategy, but they had zero. Because Groovy and Shex wanted to play the bad boy. <laughs> what did they play? They played, boy. Their face. No. <laughs> they played I'm in love. <laughs> Fina wanted to play streets. What did she did, but she mm. mellowed. Right. Do you see where she was all over, like... They all failed. Amaka wanted to come in as 
I'm tough. I can get and the guy gossip. I want. <laughs> yes. But she never got any guy she wanted. So if, none, it didn't work for them. That's what we do wrong. Chidi Ma also came mm. and said, I will not fall in love. Mm. Thank you very much, Madam Bella. But, but, so but it's I, quite I, interesting. I suspect um, the strategy is being worked or it's working in terms of alliances or friendships in mm. the house. You're being, yeah. Because yeah. some people got to got attached to other housemates and that was started when they realized that this person is a strong when they perceive because they don't know what's going on outside the world but when they perceive that for instance a fina was strong because for about six consecutive times he yeah. was up and he, I mean, she was up and she was saved so in their head she's strong out there right. she has fans no but technically so, she has been up like uh, uh, four times that yeah i mean i heard a point four, everybody yes, was yes, up and yes, then she was four times, four times. Right. but in their head fina was the strongest among yeah. them so it got to a time where some people wanted to be friends or be alliance with, with Fina, her right even when she did something they yeah, had to tell her to her face they they to her. Yeah, so i think uh, the strategy work in terms of alliances or friendships all right. in the house. Okay, point. so when Groovy was evicted, you know, Fina was shouting Jesus, Jesus after she was crying and everything. <laughs> <laughs> that, Jesus, you, come and see. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it was Jesus, he says, you know, uh, mm -hmm. I'm wondering, is she really worried because Groovy is leaving the house and she's going to be alone? Or she's worried because she's thinking that probably, you know, Beauty is out there and Chumsy is also out there. So by the time she's <laughs> out, they would have already taken their position. Oh, what is that? Is that, is that it, oh, yes, I was, I, 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 I was coming to say that. And then also, <laughs> It, uh, Groovy had also been up a couple of times <laughs> right. and he was saved. Yeah. So in her mind, yeah, the same true. way that she felt she's, she's, she's strong, mm. she thought that Groovy was strong too. But Groovy has never been strong. Mm. She has never been. And also, uh, the conversations that she and Bella were having mm. in the garden, you realize that she has already given up that right now, the Groovy is even seeing somebody. Mm. Like, you know, Groovy, I'm sure, is chilling. Maybe there's a woman there. And then Bella was like, oh, no, me. I know Shex is waiting for me. So, and the last conversation that they had before Groovy left the house, she asked Groovy, mm. is there a way that you would want to reconnect with Beauty again? And then the guy was up front and said, yes, I would like to see what's up. He was very That's what to say we are going to get back together. Mm. But I would like to have a peaceful kind of relationship mm. with, 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 a, with, with a person. Mm. So that really hit that girl. Mm. And, uh, and she was like, no, this guy is not really into right. me. So it was everything that you said. Uh, you know, uh, thinking that Groovy was strong. Thinking that there's a, 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 a beauty outside. There's a chumsy outside, outside. You know. So it, it was all of the above. You seem to agree with her. I do, I do. And then, you see, Groovy never used the word love mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. the house for her. That's true. And the, the, the best word he could use was, I really, really like, like you. you. Yeah. And, and, and she felt there was no assurance. Because of the template, yes. Sheila. There exactly. was no assurance. So <laughs> for, for her, she, even on Sunday, I thought she was pretending. Because she knew, even though she has fallen in love or she's pretending to fall in love with Groovy, she knew in her mind that that guy is not does really. not, I mean, she, he's not into her. Because there but were times, you know, he, he even tried to tell this guy that, um, can't you, is love difficult for you right. to say? The guy then told him maybe he loves football club. He, 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 I mean, his <laughs> football <laughs> club. <laughs> it's yeah. crazy. I mean, and, yeah. and if you were a girl and a man <laughs> is this plain with you. You should advise yourself. But it seems Fina no, is not so advising herself. I was so surprised she was even crying when the guy left. <laughs> I think I, she I was, was not. I don't think she choice. was crying, crying. I don't know how to she put it. She was shocked. <laughs> yeah, she was shocked. Because, see, Fina knows Groovy doesn't love her. Mm -hmm. Fina doesn't love Groovy. But she needs oh, sure? She needs Groovy. Mm -hmm. There's a difference between loving you and needing you. Mm -hmm. We make a mistake a lot of times. Mm -hmm. She needs Groovy because even with the dinner they had on Monday, she says she's never seen anything like that before. Mm. So she feels Groovy... Is a clean-up guy. Exactly. Yeah. Groovy can give her that and more. So it's not about love. Fina is a straight girl. Mm. She doesn't do love. Mm. But Someone she, who had love for 12 years and, you know, had... Exactly. Had so it's over. She was just holding on to Groovy that I guess is my ticket to something good. Mm. If I don't win Big Brother, if even I win Big Brother. The only people that talk about love in that house, we know already, is Bella and Shex. And at every point, it was in people's faces. Mm. Everybody wanted what they had. Because yeah. Shags, if I think there was a conversation earlier, two weeks before, Groovy and then Shags. 
And then Groovy goes like, oh, if I didn't get Fina, if I didn't get Beauty, I'd have gone for Chomzi. Mm. But Shex goes like, if I didn't get Bella, I would have been it. I don't go for anybody. Uh, Shex oh. has been, <laughs> Sally, please. Mm, mm, mm. Shex has been strong about his feelings from the onset. To even talk about marriage, even after the house. What is next for you and Bella? Is married children and building our family. I'm like, okay. and you go choke. Okay. Add it to it. <laughs> we, we, we are always go add it to it. House go choke. I know. Woman we need to choke. make money. Yeah. 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 All right. But then, yeah. before coming into the house, you know, um, a lot of them had things to say. And Adekule was one of the people who said that <laughs> he's a troublemaker and also a strategist. Do you think he really exhibited those characters in that? I house? think he has. Mm. He has. He's one manipulative kind of person. Very, very I never very liked very him because of that. He's always trying to see what's up in mm. people's mm. minds. Yeah. Mm. We'll bring a conversation. Mm. Oh, Ellen. Oh, ah, you, you see the last time, you know, Shex was saying this, mm -hmm. just to poke oh. yeah. and see what you see really what you, think mm. about that person. Right. Mm. So me, I th I've never liked him because of that. that. When he came in, a lot of people were saying that he's handsome, he's this and all of that. I'll give it to him. The only thing that I like about him is his fingernails. He has some beautiful fingernails. And he's cooking. Yes. <laughs> and he's cooking. But, no, but it ends there. I, I feel as a person, and he has a lot of stories. Mm. His stories are too many mm. for me because today I, I, I moved out because we had mm. and I wanted to experience the mm. street. Mm. Tomorrow mm. I sit in a diary room. Mm. If I made the money, I'm going to set my mother up. Mm. It's like. But is that not what makes the show? I mean, no, you, you, no. you are with people in a place. You are, you, what do you do? Is you, he, you share your is experiences. He right? No, 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 no. They, they've all clocked him. Mm. That's why the last. Uh, diary, diary session, session. The, the nomination. All of them. They, they kept saying that no, he's cunning, he's cunning. Me, he's not cunning, he's corny. <laughs> okay. Mm. You actually explain to them that look, he's not cunning. Exactly, mm. but he's con very corny and mm. he's very intentional about it. Mm. Yeah. Mm. He plays on people's intelligence mm. because he likened uh, Daniela, we all know. Mm -hmm. But look at what Ebuka asked. Mm. And he was like, no, I like to see what's up outside the house. Yeah. No, yeah. that's not what you want. It's because the girl is not giving you the opportunity for you to do it in the house. That you are, you are, that's why you are not doing. And that's the same thing with Alison. Alison also bounced him because of the same attitude. It's mm. as if, oh, uh, even though I want something here and all of that, I can wait when we get out of the house. But indeed, you want it here. So he's always playing safe, and that is something that I didn't like about him at all. Okay, um, as for Sally, <laughs> she's saying that he's always playing safe. Mm. But then, you know, with him being a strategist, he said, he said he's a bit of a troublemaker. Mm. Do you really think that, you know, or more or less agree with what Sally is saying? Do you think that um, some attitude of his, you know, trying to, I think he's smart and intelligent. And, but then she also feels that, well, maybe he plays, you use that to play on people's intelligence as well. What do you really think about it, Kuli? I agree 100% with Sally. I don't know why you like Adinkule, <laughs> but you all have our favorite anyway. Right. But Adinkule is a manipulator. See, Diane could have stayed longer if she moved away from oh Adinkule. Adinkule, you're True. right. Mm. True. Diane True. could have stayed longer because, and because she loved gossip and she was comfortable with Adinkule's gossip and way, she left. And see, Adinkule is in the house. Mm. He is smart, but. He knows how to get into your head. Why did Dotu move? Because he realized that if I don't move, it will be bad. Because every time he brings someone up, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then he leaves it for you to talk about mm -hmm. it, mm -hmm. and then he'll throw in the points and sit back. I used to watch him a lot, because when he came into the house, I was like, this is like my type of guy. Yeah. He cooks, yeah. he cleans, he's fine. He's too he's long. And he's dark. He's dark. Oh, yeah, that that is that one. I don't agree with you. <laughs> but going forward, then he starts a conversation. Oh, they're talking about handlers. <coughs> Shex was not there. They talking about their handler. They go like, how much is Shex? How much do you think? Mm. How much do you think Shex is paying his handler? Mm. And then everybody talks, 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 and he was quiet. Then he threw in another point. He's a manipulator. And he's a troublemaker. Cheesy and Rachel spoke about it in the salon. Mm. That Bella and Shex were right about him. Yes. He's two-faced. Mm. Do you know he could never tell Bella and Shex that he doesn't like them, mm -hmm. that they are like this? He, mm -hmm. he could even so mm -hmm. date. He has never been able to tell Bella. But let there be a conversation about them or let him, he, he will say it and he come and smile. He's two-faced, so like, I don't know. Even and did you house, see the introduction video of Shex? Mm -hmm. When he came into the house, Adinkule bowed to him. 
go and watch the video. So mm. maybe someone okay. saying that, you know, he's more or less somehow obsessed with sheikhs. As a point, Giri Fire was actually making this point that, well, I think you are obsessed with sheikhs, you know. But could it also be that, you know, he really likes me, sheikhs no, in a no, way no, or no, want to be no, friends I, with him or for that me, could even work out for after me, the house? I, I, I think when he came in first, he had an eye on Bella. Okay. And that was the truth. He yeah. had an eye on Bella. And okay. he was, you see, before sheikhs came in, he thought he was the that guy. Mm. That guy. I'm handsome. True. I'm this. I'm, I'm very intelligent too. Mm. And so mm. and then Shef, earrings, tattoos, right. Cartier and bracelets. Then, and then Shes <laughs> came in. And then I mean the the, the 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 only problem he had with Shes or the 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 sellership is because he had an eye on Bella and Bella turned it and turned it down. Oh, okay. no, 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 I'm saying that he thought yeah. okay. Bella will, I mean, will, will fall in for him. Oh, yeah. Bella, the yeah. yeah. So let, let's go for, let's go for a quick break. When we come back, we wrap it all up. Our worst housemates and our best housemates. Sentiment will be back shortly. Okay, okay, so welcome back. Uh, we're wrapping up, Helen. Right, and then before we go, I would like to find out from you your predictions for Sunday. Who do you think will be winning? Um, Big I, Brother, I, I, Niger? I, I know that the timelines are rooting for Fina, but I'm rooting for Brian. Okay, mm. who are you rooting for? Bella. Bella, and you? So two top two, Fina and Bella. Bella will take the prize. All right, and who, who do you think would win? Bella and Brian. Bella and hey! Brian. Hey! Oh, Brian. Oh, Brian. Oh, Brian. Yeah. Anyway, no. so I'm predicting that Adekule will win. Oh, please. Oh, we never have a nation oh, of... <laughs> He looks like, like a frog. frog. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we'll see who really wins. But that's my prediction, and I'm oh. hoping that he wins it. My name is Helena Nyeweja, and it's been great having you here. I'm doing this with Desmond, yeah. and also Sally, Eunice, and Akusia. Have a very good afternoon. <laughs>